Hello students, we are happy to have you join us on this exciting journey into the world of computers with binary brains, the language of computers. Grade 7, Lesson 1 Today, we are going to explore computer networks. We are going to learn about what are computer networks, some components of a network, more components of a network, why do we need networks, network terminologies, types of network, advantages of computer network. Let's begin with what are computer networks. A computer network is a group of devices like computers, smartphones and tablets all connected together so they can share information and resources. Think of it like a group of friends who all share books, play games and chat together. With a network, these devices can share files, photos and videos, communicate through email or chat, access information, play games together. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's look at some components of a network. Devices. Devices like computers, smartphones, tablets and even printers are connected to form a network. These can be connected using wires or with wireless connections like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Network connection. The devices that connect with one another form a network of devices. These devices can share information and communicate over the network. This network can be as big as a global network like a internet that connects computers across the world. The network can be small that connects devices of one office or one building to another. Example, computers in an office are connected to a common printer in the office. Sharing and communication. These devices can share more devices like printers and share information like documents and files and also communicate with each other. Packets When you send information through a network, it is broken down into small pieces called packets. Each packet has information about the sender, the receiver and the message. Protocols Networks use rules called protocols to make sure devices can understand each other. It is similar to how we have rules to have a conversation. And that's how a computer network works. It's like a big team of techie friends sharing, talking and working together. Now let's learn more components of a network. Sender Device that sends information is sender. Receiver Device that gets the information is receiver. Transmission medium Path that the information travels through is called transmission medium. Message Information being sent is a message. Protocols Rules for sending and receiving information are called protocols. Now students, let us understand why do we need networks. Sharing files and resources. Networks allows devices to share files, printers, scanners and other resources. Communication. Network enables email, chat and video conferencing. Accessing information. Networks provide access to internet, online libraries and educational resources. Collaboration and Entertainment Networks enable online gaming, group projects and social interaction. Moving on, let's learn some network terminologies. Server A server is like a super powerful computer that stores and manages information. Client a client is like a computer or a device that asks the server for information. Internet 
The internet is a huge network of connected computers and servers from all around the world. Intranet An intranet is a smaller private network within a school, organization or company. IP address Internet protocol address An IP address is like a unique phone number for a device on the internet. It helps devices communicate with each other. Browser A browser is a software that helps you explore the internet. Popular browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Safari. URL Uniform Resource Locator An URL is an address for a website. Just like you need an address to find a house, a URL helps you find a website on the internet. Website A website is a collection of information, pictures and videos on the internet. You can access it using a URL. Web page A web page is a single page on the website containing information, pictures or videos. Domain name A domain name is a name of a website. Example in the URL www.e-periwinkle.in, the domain name is e-periwinkle. Firewall A firewall is like a security guard that protects a network from unwanted and harmful access. Students, now let's learn different types of networks. Personal Area Network PAN, Local Area Network, MAN, Metropolitan Area Network, MAN, Wide Area Network, WAN. PAN, Personal Area Network. A personal area network connects devices within a small range, typically up to 10 meters. It is designed for connecting personal devices like smartphones, laptops, tablets and Bluetooth accessories for tasks like transferring files, syncing data, etc. Technologies that enable PAN are Bluetooth, Infrared which is wireless, USB which is wired. LAN – Local Area Network a local area network operates within a limited range, typically up to 1 km. It operates within a building or campus to connect devices like computers, printers, servers, smart TVs, IP cameras, gaming consoles and other devices for sharing files, prints and internet. LANs can be set up using Ethernet cables or Wi-Fi. MAN – Metropolitan Area Network A metropolitan area network has a range up to 50 km. A network spanning a city or a large campus to connect multiple LANs for high-speed communication across larger areas. MANs are often used by businesses, government organizations and educational institutions. MANs are set up using fiber optic cables, routers, LAN devices, etc. WAN – Wide Area Network A wide area network covers a vast geographical area often spanning thousands of kilometers. A network connecting multiple LANs and MANs over large geographical areas like countries or continents enabling global communication and data sharing. WANs are essential for businesses, governments and cloud-based services worldwide. WANs are set up with routers, satellites, fiber optic cables, etc. These networks enable communication and collaboration, provide secure and efficient data transfer, facilitate global connectivity, 
support various applications and services. Now let's look what are the advantages of computer network. It stores data centrally for easy management, ensures continuous service with backups, reduces cost by sharing resources, secures access with strong authentication, allows remote access anytime, grows storage as needs increase, Safeguards data with automatic backup. That's all for today, students. Hope you had fun learning about computer networks. Want to test your brain? You can attend a quiz of this chapter on Dattamsh website. Once you finish attending the quiz of all the chapters, you will receive a certificate. Scan the first QR code to visit Dattamsh website or click on the link provided in the description box. Scan the second QR code to learn how to navigate to assessment page and access the quiz section on the website or click on the link provided in the description box. You can also download this PPT from the Tamsh website. Great job little genius, you have finished lesson 1. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next lesson. Happy learning!